licensing 136 new offshore exploration sites, but the proposal has been met with fierce criticism. Environmentalists say that it is irresponsible and shows little regard for Norway's commitment to climate goals. But Tien Bro, Norway's Minister for Oil and Gas, says it's needed to keep the industry afloat. He says new exploration sites create jobs deeply rooted in the country's petroleum policy. Well, let's find out more and speak to Celia Lundberg, head of the Norwegian Society for the Conservation of Nature. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Look, there's been uh, two cases already in the courts to determine whether the government should or should not resume giving these licensing uh, to uh, companies for oil exploration. And the courts have always ruled in, in the government's favour. So what's your argument to say that this would not be the right course of action? Well, it's because if this proposal goes through, I mean, we're talking about 136 new licenses for oil exploration in many of them in the high Arctic. So if this goes through, it's, it puts us on a path that is in clear violation of the emission reductions, uh, reductions that is needed to achieve the, the Paris Agreement. And it also really shows that Norwegian politicians, well, they talk a good game on the international stage, but when when they come back home, um, they they let our biggest polluter, which is the the oil industry, get a free pass. So even though the courts haven't ruled against it, it should be clear for the Norwegian government, for the Norwegian politicians, that in 2020 we can't keep pushing oil further and further north. We need to have an actual transition of our society and of our economy. I mean, the Minister for Petroleum and Energy did describe these licences as the pillars of petroleum policy. So the government are very clear uh, where they stand on this. It's been a very turbulent time, though, for oil markets now. If you look at what happened to the price of oil over the pandemic, presumably some of these licences might then not be used because of the economic consequences. Yeah, well, one of the problem again is that last week uh, the Norwegian Parliament approved. Uh, um, uh, well, I don't. It's it's just in so many numbers uh, a massive bailout package for the for the Norwegian oil and gas industry. So I mean, we are talking about policies that are just laid for the oil and gas industry to keep having them going north and to keep having them explore for more and more uh, petroleum, even though it, and this major bailout package that uh, was given to them have heavy subsidies that will cost the Norwegian state billions of crowners and potentially also lead to investments that are not even economically viable. So that's also why this is problematic, because first they pass this big package with massive subsidies to keep the industry going, and then they uh, hand out massive new licenses that will potentially also be in, in severe threat with the Arctic uh, environmental system and uh, ecosystem. Thank you very much for your analysis, Silja Lindberg, head of the Norwegian Society for the Conservation of Nature. Still to come here.